It is an unseasonably warm October day in the Pacific Northwest. On an empty lot in the Northeast Hazeldelt neighborhood, Clark County, a large group of people gather to celebrate the groundbreaking of Planet Clark Emerald Home. It is a unique partnership between the public sector, private sector, and a nonprofit, Clark County Quail Homes and the Evergreen Habitat for Humanity. Bringing together these energies from the private sector who know how to get things done, the nonprofit sector who know how to bring community and involvement together, and then the public sector which sets forth the policy and also can do education to bring all the best components of those three pieces into a partnership effort that, that will have a great outcome. Uh, this project started about two years ago and the idea was let's show that we can build a sustainable green home affordably. You know, so often if you want a green home it's going to cost you some extra dollars to have those innovative features. So we wanted to show that no, you can actually do it for low income families make it safe, make it decent, make it affordable. Clark County's population is growing, which means more homes, more schools and roads are being built and more resources are being spent. Being able to use sustainable and affordable building practices with less impact on the land and environment is what will make the difference for future homeowners. Some home builders have been able to rethink how they're going to uh, market their, their homes to the future homeowners. Four or five years ago when the recession hit, we looked at each other and said, what can we do really in housing to make a difference? And we both said, look, let's really learn how homes perform and let's get building science behind it and be able to do green building affordably. Planet Clark Emerald Home will be the local example of this kind of thinking. Basically taking some land that was uh, in county ownership that was not being utilized. It had a derelict old house on it. We were able to remove that and in its place we're going to put in a high performance uh, sustainable house. This home is built by the National Association uh, of Home Builders. They're emerald standards for green building which is the highest level that you can build to. Uh, what that would include in this particular case is high energy efficiency through better construction. One way is using SIPS panels, which is structural insulated panels, which increases your insulation R value. The result will be a house that uses 60% less energy than an average typical house of the same size, uh, uses 60% less water, and then all the stormwater or polluted runoff that when it rains falls on a site and can get washed out into the streams or the waterways. Uh, that will all be treated on site with rain gardens, pervious pavement, low impact development. Additionally, Emerald House built on a small footprint of 1,154 square feet and will incorporate universal access design like lever action hardware on doors and cabinets, doors three feet wide, and ample walk-in shower with turnaround space for a wheelchair. And uh, it will be affordable to build and then affordable to operate. Uh, that's extremely important for folks like our homeowners who are low income, uh, can't afford the really high utility rates in the apartment that has horrible insulation and leaking roofs. So this project is really a demonstration to uh, engage the building community around some new practices, uh, have, have a demonstration model that they can come in and look at and, and hopefully replicate throughout the county. So the vision of this home was, was kind of twofold. One was to show that affordable homes uh, can be green and efficient. And the second piece is Habitat's core mission, and that's to give a hand up to low income families that live in substandard housing, that have an ability to pay for a mortgage at 0% interest. So this house, when it's finished, will go to a, a deserving family. All of our families have to put in 500 hours of sweat equity to show that they're committed. Dennis and Sherry, even though we're doing the groundbreaking today, have already put in over 680 hours of sweat equity. Here and doing construction, a part of our sweat equity. And I want to thank Habit Quail Homes for being the one to build this house, Clark County for getting involved, and a big thanks to Habitat for Humanity for what they do. The whole program basically says it's about a hand up, not a hand out, and we, that blesses our heart because we also want to be a part of that. We want to give the hand up to others as well as ourselves, and we thank you. Planet Clark, Habitat for Humanity, and Quail Homes.
community working together to ensure a better future for all.